the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 249, Ezekiel 21-22 The Lord is sword. God's spokesman Ezekiel pointed out the evils of Jerusalem, predicted its final day, and declared the punishment South Judah would receive with a regrettable mind. First point, God told Ezekiel to cry out to the point of his hips, becoming disjointed. In Ezekiel chapter 20, God used the metaphor of the burning forest to explain how the people of South Judah would be taken as captive to Babylon. God explained by describing the south of the forest, the holy place in the Jerusalem temple, as well as the grounds of South Judah. God declared that he was to cut off the righteous and the wicked with his sword, which will be unsheathed against the people from south to north. God concluded that South Judah's fall was quickly emerging. Second point, God told Ezekiel to sing the Song of Swords. God declared his judgment through the sword. This showed how very dangerous God's sword was. God's weapon and the tool of choice was the Babylonian soldiers, and they were to attack against Ammon, Tyre, and South Judah. Babylon had selected South Judah as their target. As such, South Judah was to fall in the hands of Babylon. By emphasizing three times that they would kneel down, God confirmed that South Judah was to fall. God also added the message of the coming of Messiah. God declared that his sword would be used against Ammon also. As mentioned, this was because Ammon were pleased to see that Babylon had attacked South Judah. Five years after the fall of South Judah, Ammon was also to fall. Third point, God pointed out the sins of the princes and leaders of South Judah. God explained to Ezekiel exactly why the people of South Judah had to be punished. This was firstly because of idol worship. The second was due to the officials of South Judah. As such, God revealed the sins of the princes of South Judah, as well as the leaders who led the people to the evil. Fourth point, South Judah was to be punished for their sins and then become purified. God once again told Ezekiel of the sins of Jerusalem. God declared that the sins of Jerusalem equated to the sins of Nineveh. God had previously outlined the sins of Jerusalem during the days of King Josiah through the prophet Jephaniah. As declared by Jephaniah, now it was really time for God's judgment. We come back to God's warning in Leviticus 26. I will scatter you among the nations and will draw out my sword and pursue you. Your land will be laid waste, and your cities will lie in ruins. God then went on to explain that the people were to be punished and educated for 70 years. Fifth point, God once again pointed out the sins of the various people groups in South Judah. Son of man, say to the land, You are a land that has not been cleansed or rained on, in the day of wrath, God declared that South Judah made their grounds into one that was not provided with rain due to their sins. God furthermore outlined the sins of the false prophets, priests, officials, and the people of South Judah. God mentioned how the priests had neglected their roles, how the officials sinned, and also how the people sinned. As such, all the people had each sinned, and thus were unable to escape God's judgment. South Judah resembled Sodom and Gomorrah back in the days.
I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.